I was on a date with a girl in this agency that I really liked. We connected very well. How do you tell? What uh, tips do you have to guys? How can you tell a good agency from a bad one? Well, it's, it's not an easy task. There's no point of dating in Ukraine or experience level where you're going to be completely free of scams. Just recently, I thought I'd come across an excellent one. A small boutique agency that knew most for girls. And I was on a date with a girl in this agency that I really liked. We connected very well. And it turned out midway through the date that this girl was married, that she actually had a husband and was on the date with me at the same time. Like she came out and told you this? At the beginning of the date, she was single, and that was the way she presented herself. Midway through the date, I had her translate something on her phone. And she takes her phone out of her pocket, takes it off of airplane mode, opens up the translator, and all these text messages come in from this guy. And I said, Busted. Who is this guy? And at this point, she had a few drinks in her. And she, and he says, oh, it's my husband. And oh, boy, at this point, I was so shocked. You know, we had chemistry. It was going so well. I was excited about, you know, our, our meeting. And it instantly just took a nosedive, the worst. But it didn't stop there, no. As the night went on, a few more minutes, I found that not only did she have a husband, she had been paid to go on a date with me. How did that come out? How did you find that out? I found that out because I had asked her how many guys she had gone on a date with. Because knowing she is married, I said, well, if you're married, why are you still going on dates with guys? And she gave me some BS answer. And I asked her, well, how many guys have you gone on a date with? And she told me some insane number. She said 700. And I, and I quizzed her and I said, really, 700? You know, you're a young girl. Like, 700, you, you're going on dates like every day then. And she said, well, not quite, but very often. And I said, and I asked her, if you're going on dates with 700 guys, then are you saying no to any dates? And she said no. And at that point in the conversation, it flipped to, okay, why are you going out so frequently with men? And she became defensive and opened up, told me the truth, and said it was about the money. Wow, so she actually told you I get paid each date for each date. She said she gets paid a certain amount for going on every day with a man that makes it worth it for her. And so, tell me about this agency. I mean, you don't have to say, you know, where it is or anything like that, but um, it's in a, it's a, where, where is it? Like, is it a small town? It's a city? And did you trust this owner? Like... So this is a mid-sized city. It's it's a, a decent size city in Ukraine. Uh, this owner um, came and met me twice. I met two of her girls. She was present there for the first few minutes of our meetings, and because of that, I really did feel connection. I I felt a sense of trust. I felt like there was nothing funky going on with my dates. That's why it completely just side struck me when I found out about this. What has this done to your feeling that, you know, you can choose a good agency? I believe that there are little to no completely 100% honest agencies in Ukraine. 
I would assume that even the agencies that are so-called honest have a little bit of funky business going on inside them. Fifty whether Shades of Grey. Back and forth money, whether that is getting girls who are not serious, they're not motivated to have a family, but they have joined the agencies for cheap, cheap, but they have joined the agencies for gifts or for some type of financial reward every month. And this is a problem. But I mean, we're talking, I mean, the industry, I agree, it's 50 shades of gray. Uh, but this is black, clearly. I mean, paying girls to meet guys, every guy, is going to give some old guy that's so far out of his league, that's 50, my age, dating a 25-year-old, and she gives him hope. He's like, wow, it's true what they say about Ukraine. And then he's off uh, swallowing the red pill down the rabbit hole. <laughs> And not only this, but when these guys come to a particular agency, particularly this one, this owner, every single time, as far as I'm aware, suggests this particular girl who I dated to them to date also. And because she's pretty and because she's smart, most guys take her up on this offer. For her, in her business, a date with this girl is like an upset. So she's got a database of girls which are like for reaching out for web or marketing. And then a man might be interested in a, in a 40 year old lady and dating her. And then she suggests, well, hey, how about this young, beautiful, perfect looking girl too? I showed her your photo and she's interested in meeting you. The guy has absolutely zero clue that she was not shown a photo. The guy has absolutely no idea she has no interest in him, and he's paying the agency money, going out, spending an hour, two hours of his time, uh, paying for dinner expenses, and it's a, it's a complete scam and it's a complete shame that this happens through these boutique agencies. And I'm afraid to admit that it happens a lot more than we like to think. Has this pulled the rug out from under you, basically, in terms of your belief that you can choose a good agency to meet ladies at in the future? Mm. So you've been duped, but do you feel you can be savvy enough to spot it next time? No, no, there's no way. There's no way to know 100% really any time that there's no money being exchanged, that there's nothing that's going on behind the scenes. There's no way they know everything up front. You can't guess. Like there's, there's just absolutely zero way. Sometimes you'll get a recommendation of an agency from a friend, and that friend doesn't know, it, but he's being scammed. He thinks this agency's honest because he met a girl, but his girl he's with might have actually gotten paid too. There's no way to know 100%. And the thing is, as you know, there's many fairly large companies uh, well, right from the big motherships like Anastasia and Charm Day that plug in literally thousands of tentacles, thousands of agencies into the mothership. And these agencies are these little boutique. Maybe it's this one. Probably is. Uh, they pro probably plug into one of the motherships. But then there's less um, sizable agencies. But their business model is they're the marketing engine and they have little agencies that they work with in, in towns around Ukraine. And they try to build up a brand. Can this brand vet the ladies from all these little agencies underneath them? What do you think about this? No, they can't trust them. If an experienced, you could call it be a dater in Ukraine, um, can't go directly to an agency um, who's, who he has thought is reputable, and then find out that not so reputable. How can a larger agency that's partnering with dozens of agencies all throughout Ukraine, how could they possibly have a screening system, these individual contractors of theirs, to use the system or to be honest about? It? And due to the economic situation here and due to some cultural factors, um, people will lie for money. And although this agency can come across as very honest and forthright. Um, the reality is you can't trust it all the time. 
the only way to know is to experience it and and to, to basically do your due diligence. That's all. There's a large amount of well-intentioned men who first come to Ukraine seeking their wife, seeking their second half, and after a series of dates with nines and tens, they're almost the chemistry of their brain changes, their goals change, and they become this type of, we call it in Ukraine, a babic. Have you been searching for a beautiful wife? Do you dream of meeting the perfect woman, but haven't found her? Well, imagine if there was a simple way this could all change for you. Imagine if there was a Canadian marriage agency that would introduce you to as many beautiful women as it takes until you find the one. Ukraine, a lost world of beautiful traditional women. At last, a place where you can find the beautiful wife you have always dreamed of. Every Ukrainian woman dreams of having a happy family. Now you can have a traditional beautiful wife from Ukraine, creating happy family memories forever. So what are you waiting for? Register right now and Skype our beautiful ladies completely free. So what makes us different, you might ask? Why not ask Google simply by searching Match Guarantee Reviews.